Hey YouTube, Satoshi Matrix here yet again bringing you another video. In this installment of the Controller Chronicles, I'll be showing you that simplicity really does make a good controller. We all know this controller. It is the Atari 2600 controller. It is the CX40. It came standard with the 20 with the Atari 2600. It also works with the Commodore 64, um, the Sega Master System, and a whole bunch of other computers from the 80s. This this controller is as simple as can be. It has a single fire button, uh, a stick joystick that just works. Um, it shows you where the top is. Um, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. It is very, very simple. How can you, um, how can you improve upon perfection? Well, apparently you can. Right here. This is the Wiko Command Controller. It is, everything this controller is, just amplified. It's bigger, built better, lasts longer. Just everything that makes this controller good, this one does in spades. And so to show you in, in action, I have the original box. Ooh, the Wiko, or is it Wiko? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it's something. Command controller, three-way three deluxe joystick. New for 1983 anyway. So this thing says the arcade joystick comes home. The only authentic arcade design uh, makes you a better player, apparently. Features three quick changing grips, ergonomically designed to fit your hand and mind. Works with 14 home video games and computers. And what they mean by that is it works with uh, the Atari 2600, Atari 400, 800, um, 600, 1200, um, the, the Sears, the Atari 2600s, the Commodore 64, VIC-20, um, also adapters, works, you know, with the Texas Instruments home computer, Apple II, Radio Shack, TRS-80, um, and even works with the Odyssey, apparently. Pretty crazy. So, the big gimmick of this controller is the fact that you can take the shaft and you can um, remove it and replace it with one of two other shafts. You can... This is my favorite one that I have on right now, but it also comes with a standard bat top, which has a, like a hollow point where it simply just goes over the um, over the steel um, bezel that or the steel shaft that holds the stick together, or the standard size. You know, this for most of the uh, 80s arcade sticks would work like this for, for the home home systems. So to remove the um, the shaft, all you do is you put the camera down, you grab it, hold firmly on the base, pull up, oops, there we go, and then it's naked, ooh, the shaft comes right off. So to put a new one on, grab this, just put it on, like that. The, um, the thing about this stick is that it has the fire button just where it should be, you know, on the 2600 controller, but it also has a fire button up top, so you can press and hold the fire button. So this is great for people that are like me, left-handed, um, so you can just hold the stick with your left hand and fire with your left hand. You don't need to use your right hand to, or your left hand here and your right hand to hold the joystick. So between the three shafts that it comes with, the bat top, the, this sort of grippy one, and, uh, and this one, I really feel strongly that this one is the best one. The reason being is the sh is the stick um, doesn't give you enough of a enough of a of a grip. Like you hold it in just your fingers, and then you're holding nothing in the palm of your hand, unless you grip tightly, and then just doesn't feel comfortable for adult hands. This one sort of has a thicker thing where you can you know hold hold your thumb and. It's, it really does conform to your hands, and this one, I've never really liked the style of, of arcade stick. Like, um, your fingers feel, you know, conform to the groove of it, but holding your hand, you know, in this position for, you know, great lengths of time when you're playing a game, it's not very comfortable. So, ultimately, you know, this is the one you want to go with. But, really, it's up to you. So, as you can see, they're hollow point. So, again, I'm just going to exchange... Uh, 
the stick. So pull down on the base, pull up. Right. I'm gonna put this one back. There we go. And push down. There we go. As you can see, this spins completely around. Fire button. So um, this stick is made by the Wiko or Wiko or however you pronounce that, um, and it's basically built like a tank. This stick lasts and lasts and lasts. You know, this thing is like I said from 1983, and it still works perfectly today. And it's built with um, leaf switches. Um, you can see on the bottom it says the Wiko command control. Uh, yeah, and the leaf switches allow it to um, have real authentic parts in the back of it. It's, it's even has a thing where if you paid thousands of dollars for an arcade video game, because that's what they were back then, um, this is the joystick you'd get. Um, what they mean by that is Wiko actually did provide real arcade parts for arcade machines, and they would use much the same kind of parts as found in this controller. So, that's right. This is a authentic arcade parts before it was in vogue to do that. So what I've done is I have my uh, 2600 hooked up down there and I'm going to go to the TV, turn the TV on, and I'm going to demo some gameplay. And the game I already have in there is one of my favorites. Click it on. Let's see if you guys can tell what this is. Because Atari games didn't have title screens. This game, in case you don't know, is Phoenix. That's right, it's Phoenix for the Atari 2600. So what I gotta do now is I gotta go down to the system and flip the game start switch. Oh, already died because I wasn't paying attention. I don't claim to be very good at this game, but I like it. Shield. So I gotta shoot down these birds. Again, just holding the stick, firing. got to the red birds. Probably won't clear this in one life. But... Nope, didn't. But yeah, this stick works incredibly well for left-handed people, for right-handed people, it doesn't matter whoever you are. This is the stick to get if you want um, the best stick for the Commodore 64, the um, 2600 as I'm showing here, uh, the Atari 400, 800, um, you know, even works with the Sega Master System, like I said. So, this is a really great controller. It lasts and lasts and lasts. You know, if you can find one of these, this is the, um, again, the Wiko Command Control 3-Way Joystick. Show you the box. Well, I guess that'll be it for now, so thanks for watching.